All my life, planning has been essential. Like, it has been that thing that if you don't do, you are doomed. <laughs> this has been preached ever since I was a kid. Even in acronyms, yeah. Proper planning prevents poor performance. Like, there's so many acronyms for planning, I, I can't even remember. <laughs> the actual way to say that is there's so many acronyms for planning but i can't even remember any <laughs> planning is even more critical in filming and every single time a film hasn't in my experience been finished the cause for that has been your pre-production was shit <laughs> you did not you did not do anything for your pre if you're not familiar with pre-production there are three levels to getting a film done pre-production production and post so just as the name suggests pre is when you do every single planning detail of your film <laughs> and then post is when you're done filming you're now left with your edit <laughs> so every time a film flopped in my case it was definitely because of pre the ironic thing about me knowing all this is I am not good at planning or following through with plans <laughs> at all. People who follow their plans to me are like wizards. And I am pretty sure someone watching this is gonna go, Discipline! But then I am gonna retort, I don't care! And you're probably right. At times, acts of God and circumstances just... <laughs> they just look you in the face and laugh at your planning and processes also people stand people up after planning that is one of the things that i do not like and i am probably projecting and i will own up to that shit people who stand people up <laughs> me being one of them <laughs> i do not mess with you take heed one of my best examples for when planning did not really go according to plan is the film that I did as my final project. Straight from the bat, I went into film school to study acting for film and television. So going through my course, I was made familiar with production, the production's aspect of things. This final project was a whole experience for me. The plan was simple. We had a specific budget to work with. We were told, pick your location, do your pre, you know the steps, just present us with your plan. And if it's, we will approve it. So, well, you know, duties were being handed out. I got producer. <laughs> And at the time, I really don't think I knew what that entailed, but I took it in stride. I was like, yeah, producing, sure. The director had a vision and their vision could be achieved in Samburu. <laughs> now, the thing about film is it can be expensive. So transporting a whole team from Nairobi to Samburu and back, come on, bro. Like where are you getting the funds but we got the approval hey so we did our pre we actually traveled got everything we needed yada yada, yada. i checked out came back um we were set to film in two months i think so yeah our pre was done we got our budget and then we started filming so day of travel <laughs> problems bam we were meant to leave Nairobi like at around 10. We left at 4 p.m. <laughs> we get to we get to Isiolo at like 11. We're like 22, 25 people get to Isiolo at around Arches Post at around 11:30 p.m. Now, during our pre, we knew this is where our team is gonna sleep, and if we don't get this accommodation, we have options in our budget. <laughs> allowed for this so when we <laughs> arrived on shooting day i'm told yo um there was a competition in town and uh all hotels are booked because there were teachers from different counties that came to be hosted for like local games like sports like this an event in town and all hotels are booked period 
So I have 25 people waiting on accommodation. We're tired. We need to sleep. So I look at my director and my director's like, what's that meaning, bro? Uh, we have no accommodation. You're kidding. This is a joke. Long story short, we did get accommodation, but that was the first, that was just the onset of our problems. <laughs> The plan again was simple. Go to Isiolo, shoot for two weeks, travel back to Nairobi. The plan changed from that to Isiolo for three, four days, frantically look for accommodations elsewhere. A team member suggests Nanyuki. <laughs> 25 people. Uh, I was running short of money. My executive producers were like, yo, uh, how is shooting going? I couldn't tell them that the plan went to shit because we don't have accommodation with the budget that we have. So, <coughs> uh, three, four days into filming, um, my art director is like, I have an alternative for accommodation. It's in Nanyuki. So, how do we transport 25 people from Arches Post to Nanyuki? Where in Nanyuki? Daraja. Wow, it's like not close. So, yeah. We got a movie. After, I think it was 14, 20 days, we got a movie. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, if you know how to stick to a plan and carry it through, more power to you. I'm just out here figuring it out.